playing with me for my 2024 and uh let's do some goal setting get comfortable grab grab you a snack grab you a drink because uh we about to vibe out gingy Off top, 2024, Mamba year. We bring in the Mamba mentality. We are deep in our Mamba mentality. If you don't know what the Mamba mentality is, infinite potential. Think of your infinite, most powerful self. Tap into that inner highest form of you. That's our quote, our word of the year. Words of the year we are looking for limitless. That infinite potential, for sure. Those might be our our words of the year right there. Peace um, and uh, abundance. It's an eight year. It's a year of abundance, peace, limitless, infinite potential. It's a year two for me. So a lot of things that I'm looking to transform going into the year is networking. Uh, I'm in. I'm really big on like planning things out. I have to get like a more strategic plan for the year, not just for the year, but for years after and have like a, a planning stage. And I have a lot of ideas that I want to bring into fruition going into 24, because I feel like the last two years, I've been kind of suppressing my infinite potential and uh, I can't dim my light anymore. Like I can't dim my light anymore and I just got to shine through everything. Uh, another thing, Another intention is putting myself first, being a little bit more selfish on your time, your energy, and just you. I have a lot of ideas and a lot of things that I want to put out more than that's bigger than just sports. So that's really a big thing for me. Uh, rest, rejuvenation, and revitalizing. My whole main three main three right now make sure i up i gotta get i gotta get a better sleeping schedule uh i gotta rejuvenate and make sure i'm taking care of myself and revitalize my whole system uh make sure we are journaling that's always a big practice going into the year uh it's a year of letting go let it go of everything in the past doubts fears uh limiting beliefs whatever it may be we're just letting it go of all uh, grudges that maybe people may have or different anything that you feel like is holding you back we're letting it all go we're letting it go we're cutting it out and it's a clean fresh state flat fresh slate for relationships for friends for family for businesses and different opportunities and all that we're just letting go of anything that is not that's holding us back anything that's holding us back cutting people off that are holding us back, letting people go that are holding us back, friends, family, whoever it may be. We just, we don't have time for that energy anymore. We're just letting it go. We cutting people off and we got to stay focused on the bigger picture. Uh, getting rid of old patterns. Uh, last year I said, uh, we are not repeating the same lessons that we've already been through. Uh, so any old, any old patterns that you may have picked up throughout the year of 2023, for me, uh, there was not really a lot of old patterns, but I don't want to bring any old patterns back into my life. Like, that's the past. We are moving forward, and it's only up. Uh, balance. Finding balance in career, life, uh, family, friends, networking. Just finding a balance where I'm always my main focus like my mental state my inner world is always top priority but I, I have to find the balance where i'm not completely disconnected from the people in my family that i love most or just my friends or or just those relationships that i've built keeping those relationships at a great standing uh spot um, spiritual awakening. I feel like I'm going through another transformation. I feel like I said this on my last video, but I feel like there's another another level 
that we are tapping into, just like as a collective, uh, that the consciousness of the world is going up. Um, and then there's definitely a shift, a shift, a paradigm shift, a change in the world and definitely within me. So I'm going to try to bring more of that side to y'all so y'all I can help y'all elevate and um, just hold on to the vision. Hold on to the vision, deepen that why, getting really deep into that Mamba mentality and really figuring out what... What do we really want from this year? What do you really want from this year? What do you really want in your life? Uh, so I think another thing, I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a vision board this year. I don't think I did a vision board with y'all last year, but I think I'm gonna do a vision board with y'all this year. So we could really bring out that what do we really want? What do we want? Where do where do we want, where do we see ourselves by the end of the year? What are these milestones we are trying to hit and find that vision? And then having faith. Having faith in having trust and believing that it's coming. It, we don't know when it's coming. We don't know the time frame. As long as we are putting in the work every day uh, to try to reach goals like the goals I'm going to tell you all about later that I got on my laptop, uh, make sure we are putting in steps every day to reach these goals and having faith that, all right, I knocked this out today. You feel me? So I know I'm, I took a step today. That's all that matters. And then healing any, any healing any past traumas, or like I said, let like I said, letting go earlier, just healing those uh, wounds, healing those wounds, those traumas, those relationships, and just make sure you're taking care of yourself. That goes back to my main focus: is putting yourself first this year and healing yourself, and while also being productive, also being productive with your habits and your priorities and that balance that balance so it's all tying together for me for real it's all tied together uh self-care self-love top top tier that should be your main priority going into this year is taking care of yourself and i feel like once you start once you start taking care of yourself it's going to expose the people who are not there for you so it'll be easy for you to find to cut them off and you'll you'll find a new tribe you don't need to have you don't need to have all your day ones in your life make room for those day twos to come in and help you elevate to that next level so we we take we taking the next stop like there's a new opportunity i have a lot of big decisions coming up uh and i'm really really just looking for it emotional fulfillment this year i think emotional fulfillment is is where i'm at right now um and trying to really get over my fears of i it just i don't know just my inner feelings of like i have a bigger calling to just basketball and like i've been spending so much time just trying to like level up and learn and ground in like these last few months that it's like it's only inevitable. So time management is a big thing. Getting a clear focus, uh, redefining your vision, bringing that king energy out and making sure every day, if you are part of the Say Less Empire, every day, make sure you waking up and you putting on your crown and you are having that energy of abundance, that energy of just greatness and the universe will surrender and allow. And just as long as you're putting on your crown and you putting in that work and trusting that the universe is going to give you everything, all these goals and these dreams and just be receiving, be, just be ready to receive and also be willing to give and have that main character energy of greatness, basically is what I'm saying to say, because the wars is going to come because uh, you, I'm stepping into, you're stepping into your own power of releasing everything that doesn't serve you so i'm not really in a rush i'm not really in a rush uh don't rush anything uh because your inner warrior he's in there he's in there he's working all 2024 like i said when the video started it's mamba mentality baby it's the mamba mentality the wisdom the ideas the growing uh the rejuvenation is coming you know so get ready to celebrate but don't rush the celebration don't cheat the process. Don't cheat the journey. Uh, let's get into my goals for 2024.
four, baby. All right, so now my goals for the year. I think my biggest goal of this year is just being my most authentic self no matter what. Uh, like I said in my intentions part, I just want to be, I just want to reach my my highest potential for real. So infinite potential word of the year. Uh, my biggest goal, let's start with career-wise. Let's start with career-wise. I think TikTok, we trying to hit a million. We trying to hit a million followers. Um, shout out my boy, my boy Billy. Uh, he gave me this, he gave me a little motivation, but also I felt like it's a little challenge. Uh, Cause he gave me a shout out on Facebook, talking, uh, saying a million is next. But I, y'all know me, I don't really chase the number. But uh, we finna hit a million for the culture. I think it's long overdue, and uh, yeah, that's probably my biggest content goal right now is hitting a million on TikTok. So follow me on TikTok if you ain't follow me on already. <laughs> and then I think I'm gonna set one for YouTube and Instagram. Might as well um, hit. I'm trying to remember what I met on Instagram. Probably hit 100K on Instagram. I think I doubled my Instagram from last year. So I'm going to try to double it again and hit 100K on uh, Instagram, YouTube. Y'all already know the vibe. 300K. We on the way, baby. We're on the road to 300K. So just know the content is everlasting, ever evolving all year, all 2024. Um, yeah. Um as <laughs> far as another career go, the merch. I got to get more merch out. I want to have the merch out more consistent this year. Uh, more vibe. Why? Why? What the? Why can't I get this word out? More variety. Oh, my goodness. English is hard, bro. English is hard. But uh, more variety on the merch and on the clothing part. Uh, I want to bring out a newsletter. I want to bring out a newsletter. I want to bring out some coaching programs and just be more accessible to my real audience uh my real core fan base i don't know if a discord maybe a patreon we'll see we'll see we'll see these just um ideas um that i'm putting out into the universe and i'm sharing with y'all because i love y'all more than anything uh i want to get into acting and uh more filmmaking i want to be i want to get more creative on my filmmaking and on my process uh podcast potentially bring the podcast back and uh some more business adventures for the say Less empire llc so uh i ain't gonna see too much on that part but yeah health goals y'all already know the vibes taking my health my wellness to the ultimate most highest highest form of discipline of uh mama mentality yeah mama mentality all year so that means emo mentally I want to be emotionally fulfilled, mentally fulfilled, and ha be in a state of peace. That's why peace is one of my big words, one of my big words this year. So mentally, emotionally, I just want to, I'm going to put them together. So that means journaling, uh, taking care. Um, I, this is future me. I am editing this video right now, and I realized that my mic died. And y'all missed all of my mental health, like habits, goals, and my fitness goals. So maybe it's a sign, maybe for that y'all wanted on another video. Let me know in the comments if y'all wanted on another video. If not, it might just be a sign to keep it to myself and continue to level up that way. But uh, yeah, that's the end of this video. If you made it this far, go ahead, drop a crown in the comments so I know to give you some extra amount of love. And I will see y'all on the next video. Peace and love. Take care of yourself. I'm out.